All-Star Music Resort. This is a Disney Value Resort, similar to the other All-Stars, All-Star Movies, and All-Star Sports, but this one is themed after, you guessed it, music. So I'm going to show you the entire resort, I'm going to show you my room, and you know, just have a great day at a Disney resort. So let's get into it. Let's go get into some hijinks. Disney's All-Star Music Resort is a Disney Value Resort, which means it's going to be at the lower end of the spectrum for cost to stay on property at Disney. This is where you would get out if you took an Uber or a shuttle or if you're dropping people off and then parking. And right over here is Bell Services. If your room is not ready, you can leave your bags here and go to the parks. Or if you're checking out and you still want to go to the parks, you can leave your bags here too, which is great. Also, something that I learned today, well, I kind of knew this, but I forgot. Uh, if you're resort hopping, they will transfer your luggage for you. So that is awesome if you want to do maybe all of the all-stars or if you're going to do a value one night and splurge and go to a different resort another night, they'll move your bags for you. All of the Disney resorts are encouraging mobile check-in. It should be linked up to your My Disney Experience app. I checked in like over a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put in all my information, what time I think I was going to get there, though my room was not ready. Um, I'm filming this actually the day after I slept in the room, and but still it's cool and all I had to do is when I got here I left my bags with Bell Services and I went to the parks all day and then I, when I received the text that my room was ready I wasn't going to come back, but Bell Services put my bags in my room and I just went right to my room, didn't have to talk to anybody, it was great. But there is a check-in desk here. If you are not going to be using the app, also in the lobby, you have Guitar Hero, which I love it. I, I love Guitar Hero. And this really great poster of Mickey. This really fun, like, retro seating area is for the TV. You can usually find a TV in a Disney resort playing some Disney stuff throughout the day. There is a great photo up. This thing is super huge. It's called the RD Arch, and it was used at the Radio Disney Music Awards, and I think it's just like super cool looking and a great photo op. To the right of the RD Arch, I've never even seen this before. It's a SIM card. I guess if you're from out of the country, you can get like a an American SIM card phone. So that's really cool to know that that's here. And then, also good to know, the bathrooms are over here. If you head out the door by the bathrooms, this is where you can find your Disney bus transportation. Bus transportation is the only method of Disney transportation offered at this resort. No monorail, no Skyliner, no boats, just buses. Came back into the lobby from the bus location and right over here is Maestro Mickey's and this is the merchandise location. Besides merchandise here at Maestro Mickey's, you can also find some alcohol, which is great. Uh, and also some grab and go um, beverages here. You can also get your resort refillable mug here for $19.99 for your entire stay. There's a couple of different styles with Mickey, Buzz Lightyear, Oh, Buzz Lightyear again, but in pink. <laughs> you can also find the little drugstore area in Maestro Mickey's. It's great, especially if you forget anything. It's always good to have a little backup. What's very cool, if you're a big family, if you're staying for a while, they have like full sizes of products like cereal and chips, donuts and little bites and loaves of bread. I was trying to find some all-star merchandise. Um, and so far, this is the only thing I found. Uh, I'm filming this, I guess, during the holiday season. and. They have for all three all-star resorts, so you can see sports on there, movies and music, a um, holiday pin. The merchandise was literally right in front of my face and I did not see it. <laughs> but here's the exclusive all-star merchandise. We have an all-star resorts magnet. We have an all-star resorts double shot glass, an all-star resorts mug. And this is like for general, all the three all-star resorts. So there's not specific movies, music, um, or sports. There's that pin again. Uh, we have a all-star pin and then we have sports, music, movies, repeat. It's really cute. After Maestro Mickey's, they have the all-star music hall of fame where they have some like music memorabilia. We have some queen and then these giant photos along the wall of famous singers and musicians. Now on the other end of the hallway, we have a fuel rod station here, which is great. Though I'm gonna be totally honest with you, like this is good in a pinch, but I got this once 
because which is it's good because you can just swap them and they're charged right so you don't have to charge a device but they literally only charge my phone to 30 percent so personally i would avoid it if if it was me it was a lot like i i was so disappointed in the veal rod next to that they have a collectible medallion these are super cute so there's different designs we have dumbo abu Pluto and Timothy Q Mouse. And then we have some press pennies. We have Mickey, Jasmine and Aladdin and Alice in Wonderland characters. And then across from that is the dog ID tags, which are super, super cute. I love this souvenir. And next to all these machines is the Notable Games Arcade, open from eight to 11. And this is like a pretty big arcade. Like this is, I did not realize that this was so big. And this had like a lot of new games and it's totally empty right now. Being that this resort is really like made for families, this is awesome that this is so big. Cause like imagine at night when like everybody's here, especially if it's like a rainy night, this is gonna be packed. Like right now it's empty, but like this is great that this is here. Like, ooh, we do a giant Pac-Man. And then across from the arcade, our final, Final location in the lobby area is the Intermission Food Court. The Intermission Food Court is a quick service location. They are encouraging mobile order, just like at most quick service, well, not most, all quick services around property. In the morning, they do like traditional Mickey waffles. They do egg platters, egg sandwiches. And then at lunch and dinner, it's, you know, just kind of like your basic foods of burgers and pizza, nothing really special, but you know, it's here for you, especially if you're doing a pool day. This is a great place to come. In the morning, I think this is really good to get your Mickey waffles. And there's like a bunch of grab and go stuff as well. And it is here for you. There's a bunch of, bunch of grab and go drinks here that there was only some at the merchandise location. There is way more here, including grab and go like salads and fruit cups and yogurt. Came out of the back from the lobby. And when you walk out and you go to your right, you have reached the pool bar, the Singing Spirits. They're currently not open. It might be too early, but they have a few fun little cocktails on this menu. And if you were like, Demi, if that was a pool bar, does that mean there's a pool nearby? And you would be correct. This is the main pool, the Calypso pool. It's the one shaped like a guitar. It has the three caballeros in the middle. They're so cute. And this is where you can find your pool activities. So the pool itself is open from 10 to 10. And then there's different activities throughout the day. Just make sure you check this when you're here. This is also where they do movie under the stars. Each night they're gonna put up a projector and play a Disney movie movie and it's super fun. We got a ping pong table for a poolside activity. We also have, I believe it's called cornhole. Uh, <laughs> and that's all I see so far. There's life jackets here. You can get beach towels here, beach towels, pool towels here. But this is, this is it, but it's a pretty big pool. So by the Calypso pool is the Calypso section. This is actually where my room is gonna be. I got a preferred room. This means that you are closer to the main pool to the transportation um, normally I wouldn't even bother because I don't mind walking but that was the only one available for when I was booking <laughs> um, but to be honest with you it was pretty nice um, this is building 10 this is where I am staying so let's take a walk and let's go see the room so the rooms here at All Star are like motel set up where the door is on the outside and you just walk right into your room. First impressions of this room, it almost looks identical to Pop Century, but to be honest, I feel like it's actually bigger somehow. <laughs> Though I did have a standard room and this is a preferred room, so maybe that's a difference, but I thought preferred just meant that it's closer to like the pool and the transportation. But let's, let's get a deeper look into the room. So you first walk in on your right, you have your little window, you have a blackout curtain and a regular curtain. Next, we have our temperature control that is set to 68 walking into the room. So it's not bad. Then we have our little coffee and little kitchenette area. We have a drawer, we have a mini fridge. The only thing I don't like about the Disney mini fridge is that there's no door like to store things or a uh is there a freezer no freezer either here we have some twinings tea some 
Ooh, we have an anniversary blend Joff from Joffrey's, plus the regular in-room coffee, the regular and the decaf. Next, we have that great light, and over here, great storage area. We'll get to that a little later. And then we have our main dresser. Three pretty decent sized drawers, two big shelves and a safe, plus the big TV with the best thing on television ever. <laughs> like at Pop Century, we have hooks on the wall. Love me some hooks. So my room was not ready and I left my bags with Bell Services and they actually brought my bags to the room because surprise, this is nighttime the night before of the rest of the video. Um, so that's awesome that they brought it here. And then over here, just like at Pop Century, is the Murphy bed. Or you can use it as like a little seating area. But if not, that's what that great space is for. You're gonna move the chair into that space or you can put it over here. Super easy to get down. I love the ducktails. I'm still very sour that the reboot got canceled. I loved the reboot of DuckTales. And here's the big Murphy bed. On the side you have your floating shelf and then your shared floating shelf on this side with the telephone. We have some extra lights that should probably go above the bed. Yep. Oh, that's much brighter in here. And we have this wonderful little picture of Minnie and Mickey and Donald. Um, each side gets an individual light on these beds. If you're like, why are there so many pillows? Because that's because some of these pillows are for this bed. And of course we have a floating shelf and individual light on this side as well. Big sliding door on our way into the bathroom. This really looks identical to Pop. This really small little closet area. Ironing board on the wall. We have a few shelves with the iron and a full-size hair dryer. Three more shelves of storage space, more shelves there, extra toilet paper, extra tissues, our H2O facial soap, magnifying mirror, sliding door into the toilet area with a full-length mirror. In here we have the toilet and our shower. It's a tub shower. All stocked up with your H2O shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Lots of towels and extra hooks. And now it's time for my favorite segment of my room tours, the outlet sitch. <music> Outlets are very important. They charge our devices. They give us life, well, to our devices, but that's important. So let's count up all the outlets. This is a refurb. There should be a lot of outlets. We have two regular outlets and two USB by the Murphy bed, two more outlets and two USB in the middle floating shelf, and two more regular and two more USB on the other floating shelf. Two regular outlets by the coffee machine, two regular outlets to USB on the right side of the dresser, two regular to USB on the left side of the dresser, and two regular outlets by the vanity. Oh look, I found one hiding underneath the first floating shelf. In total, the room has 15 regular outlets and 10 USB ports for a total of 25 charging stations. In my opinion, what a great refurb. This definitely gets the Hijinx Outlet Seal of Approval. One last thing. It's nice and firm. I'll sleep tonight and I'll put it in the captions here. If it was a good bed or not. All right, we're back out by the Calypso pool and now we're just gonna keep heading. It's like one straight path. It's just one straight path and there's just like different sections of music for each section, so let's see them. Kept taking the path, kept walking, following the path, and we have made it to the jazz section. In between the Calypso and the jazz building, we have a little playground area. Great for kids, but be aware, it is a sand playground. Jazz in has these really cool big drum photo ops and this really like pretty little courtyard area with this fountain. And I have to tell you, I had to stop and do some work and I was, like there's my laptop. I was sitting there doing work for like probably 45 minutes and it was really nice. <laughs> we have made it to the second pool at the resort. This is the piano pool and I think it's super cool and it's not as busy as the other pool so it's definitely a little more quiet. There's a ping pong table over there so you can still do a little game and look you can take a picture with the little mermaid and Sebastian and flounder. When you hit the piano pool now you're at a fork in the road so we're gonna head toward the right, toward the country. 
But before you take the path all the way down toward country, to the right is the rock and roll section. The rockin' has giant guitars all over the buildings and their entryway arch is a jukebox, which is really cool. And there's a classic car here for a fun little photo op. I don't know anything about cars, but it's a Chevrolet. So if this means something to you, maybe you wanna stay in the rock section. Back on the path by the pool and now gonna keep following the path down to country. The country section is lined with a fiddle and banjo. I love the like country style uh, plants in the center and of course the gigantic booths. And do you see the hidden Mickey when you go like by the ankle? Actually there's one also by like the top of the boot. How cool is that? It's just a very very cool and very well done section. I think this is like what I've seen so far, my favorite um, for theming wise, but this one is all the way at the end. Following the path around the pool and we have made it to Broadway. Did I somehow like teleport back to New York because the construction plus the Broadway, <laughs> it feels too real. So in the Broadway section, you have some Disney on Broadway posters greeting you. I. This is like, this, all right, uh, listen, I'm a little biased since I work in New York theater, but uh, this is definitely my favorite section. All right, I'm gonna give you my Broadway hot takes. I actually just saw The Lion King for the first time in my life because it was just like a show that was always there and, you know, just never saw it. And let me tell you something, it's amazing. And I saw it like two days after Broadway reopened and that was the time to see it. The director came back, the show was like, everyone was crying, it was amazing. Um, now let's go over to Aladdin. Aladdin on Broadway. Um, my dudes. My dudes. The genie is the only good part in that show. And they stretch out his role like three times the amount that it's supposed to be. Like his song is triple the amount of time. Like all of his songs. Because he's the only good part of that show. I never got to see The Little Mermaid on Broadway, but what's up, Sierra? Um, but my friend uh, is playing Ariel in Philadelphia, and I'm gonna go see her do that soon. And she was the first Asian uh, Ariel to uh, hit the stage, and she had lots of articles written about her. Look her up, her name is Diana Huey. It's very interesting, and um, she's an amazing singer, and you should check her out. Uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Listen, Mary Poppins, I saw it on my seventh grade school field trip, so maybe that had some factors into it of like not the best experience. I was also like behind a pole. I hate that theater, that's the new Amsterdam theater. But I love Mary Poppins, it's my favorite show, I'm sorry, my favorite movie rather, my favorite Disney movie. And uh, they definitely, they definitely changed a lot of things, which I wasn't a real big fan of. Newsies, and that's Jess Leprado on the uh, poster there. I love Newsies. I love a good dance show and has really fun music, great numbers. I miss that show, to be honest. Beauty and the Beast, no surprise. Amazing, an amazing show. I actually saw it with Christy Carlson Romano from Kim Possible and Even Stevens as Belle when I was a kid, and it was awesome. I didn't end up seeing Frozen, um, I didn't hear the best things about it. I heard it was pretty much fine. And that concludes my Disney on Broadway hot takes. I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, tell me your opinions in the comments. Listen, this is, this is what I do. This is my life. So I'm going to have feelings on shows. Well, my dudes, that was my tour of Disney's all-star music resort. Let me know in the comments what you think of this resort. Have you stayed here before? What was your experience like? Was it before the refurbs? Was it after the refurbs? Was it a good or bad experience? Is it somewhere that you want to stay or a place you'll never stay again? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Join my Patreon, become a patron today to support this channel and get exclusive bonus content and much more. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Uh, bye bye <laughs>